I was in India and I was teaching a, a course on leadership in India. And this is a slum, so it, as they call it, in India. I, I got back to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to the hotel, I realized I didn't have my wallet. The minute you think you know everything, at that moment you know nothing. And so I was in India and I was teaching a, a course on leadership in India and I, I, I had gone to this, this, this uh, university and I had spoke there and after I left, I, I got back to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to the hotel and I realized I didn't have my wallet. And so I called the hotel and I said, can you please bring the car back, they have my wallet. And they said, I'm sorry sir, we don't have a car, that was a taxi. And so they tried calling the taxi company, nobody answered the phone. They tried again and nobody answered the phone. And I became a little cynical. I went from hopeful to skeptical to cynical and I started thinking the worst of people. And of course they said, well my, my wallet is gone. By midnight they called and said, we're still trying. He's not answering the phone, the taxi cab driver. But at two in the morning they called and said, he answered his phone, his phone was off. He's coming back to your hotel with your wallet. So I get dressed and I run down stairs and a man meets me and the bellman translates in for me and I get my wallet and everything is in my wallet, everything. My passport, my money, my credit cards, it's all there and I reach into my wallet and there's $70 US. I ask the man through a translator, what do you make a month? He says about 2,500 rupees, which about, with that time, which is about $70 US. So I reach out and I say, let me give this $70 to you. This is my way of saying thank you. And the man says, no. I said, no, I don't think you understand. I have one month's salary for you. I want to say thank you. Here's $70. And the man says to the translator, no. And I said, there must be a translation problem here. <laughs> I'm talking about paying you. I'm talking about giving you a month's worth of your salary. One more time, he said, and this time he became a little visibly angry. He said, angry, he said, I told you no. I didn't bring you your wallet because I wanted a reward. I brought you your wallet because it's your wallet. Now this may not sound like an incredible story, but think what would have happened if I had lost my wallet in a taxi in New York City or a big city anywhere in, in the world. Think about what if, the chances of me getting my wallet back. Think about it and be honest with yourself now. This is a slum, so as they call it, in India. So I said to the man, what can I do to be thankful to you? What can I do to say thank you? He said, well, the next time you're in India, come to my house and have tea. Be my friend. Whew. Sometimes when you give, you get. Sometimes whatever goes around, comes around. I didn't give that man a thing, he gave me a sense of purpose. He let me understand that there's hope in people and that you can believe in the humanity and the decency of people and that sometimes people just do things because of the right thing to do.